Okay, Travis, uh, Googlebot, could you tell me a bit about what Googlebot is all about? So, Googlebot is the largest uh, and fastest growing social platform in the travel space. So, it's a social discovery engine. The idea is to make it easier for anybody to plan a perfect trip by allowing them to tap into their friends through Facebook and through Twitter to find great places to go, hotels, restaurants, beaches, bars, and the like. And do you guys build then uh, revenue channels around that, like in terms of hooking the hotels up and... Uh, yes. So, so we monetize primarily through hotel booking. So we have partnerships with Booking.com, Expedia, Orbitz, most of the major booking engines. So anytime you're searching for a hotel, we'll show you hotels that are personally relevant to you, and then you can always click over and book. And and the, in terms of the uh, what's driving this, is social media the key engine for this? Uh, like the, the the fact that everyone's connected on Facebook and Twitter, or is, is it is, is it that that Googlebot is a network of its own? Uh, it's a bit of both. So. Gogobot's grown 800% in the last 12 months alone, and that's been almost predominantly through word of mouth via things like Facebook and Twitter. So people are inviting their friends, they're sharing it with their friends on, on Facebook. So the social media has been a big driver, but ultimately the reason people are coming to us is, you know, their people's needs have changed. It used to be that everyone used traditional booking sites, things like TripAdvisor, which were sort of review sites, but over time as those sites have become big, it's developed a problem where we're all different. We have different tastes, different interests, different price points. And those sites provide just a single stack order list and just tons of information to sort through. People want a more personalized experience. They want to see re information that's relevant to them, not stuff that isn't relevant. And so that's what Googlebot delivers. We sort of help sort out the stuff that's not relevant to you and show you the stuff you're really looking for much quickly, more quickly. And in terms of the, uh, like you mentioned there, scaling at, well, did you say 800 or 8,000%? 8, 800%, I mean, that's a huge amount of growth. I mean, how do you do that? How do you manage that? We work very hard. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of work, actually. So um, from a technical side, we've really had to invest a lot in scaling and growing. We had to basically, in October of last year, we basically had to stop working on new features for three months to deal with scaling issues. Otherwise, the site was going to collapse under the weight of the growth. Uh, but now we're quite good at it. Um, and we've got an infrastructure where we can continue to scale you know, nicely, at least for the, the foreseeable future. Um, the world we're in, I mean, we used to talk, whenever, when people talk about websites, I still in my mind picture something on a screen, but we all know we carry mobile phones, smartphones, uh, the internet's now on your TV, uh, there's a lot of great things happening with technology, in fact, it's everywhere. Where, where do you see, I mean, do you see uh, GoGoBots um, future of being in that kind of, uh, you know, immersive internet where it's everywhere as opposed to just being on a computer screen? Oh yeah, so we at Googlebot is a multi-platform thing. So we're available on mobile, on tablets, on on the web. So any, our, our belief is that the way things are going and the way the trends you're seeing is that people want everything multi-platform wherever they are in any situation. If they're sitting in, you know, on their couch at home, if they're at work, if they're on a bus or on a plane, they need to be able to access the information that we provide. And so we've really built a multi-platform solution. And we've seen a huge amount of our growth is actually coming from mobile. We're seeing a massive transformational change in behavior where people are really starting to spend their time increasingly on mobile versus just on a desktop. And in fact, for our site alone, we've seen the share of traffic coming via mobile grow by 42% since the beginning of the year alone. In terms of like uh, some of the trends, I mean, uh, Apple when they brought out the iPhone 5 and, or iOS 6, they brought out a thing called Passbook. Do, do you see? Have you guys developed applications around that area? And do you see yourself providing kind of the? If I, I, I one of the things I hate about traveling is is the hassle. I hate I hate foostering with tickets. I hate messing with check-ins at, at 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 hotels. I just like to just walk right in and just relax. Uh, do you see yourself um, enabling that versatile traveler? Well, so. We haven't done a lot with Passbook as yet, and my understanding where Passbook is really quite helpful is for storing all your sort of confirmation emails from your things. Because we don't do direct transactions on our site, we sort of pass you off to other people. It's a little bit less applicable to what we're doing, but we're looking into what we could do with Passbook because it's a pretty powerful tool. And what does the future hold for you guys? I mean, growing at 800%, um, I, I think getting, getting, getting Googlebot better known internationally, is that would that be a, a right as, as, as a thing to assume? Yeah, so I mean, we're working a lot on continuing to just grow the business and grow the brand. We're still quite a new company, and we're seeing a ton of growth actually happening in Europe, and to the point where I think most recently we have about 40% of our traffic is coming from Europe now. So we've seen a great explosion in interest from Europe, but we're still, you know, in our early days here. We're looking to build our brand, but we're also continuing to evolve the experience. So we are a very, very nimble company. 
We're working on taking the business beyond sort of purely a social play and building a recommendation engine around travel. So the more you engage with Gogobot, the more places you rate and review, the smarter we get about what you're interested in and the better we are able to recommend places you might be interested in when you're going somewhere new.